Welcome back to the Back to the Future DVD commentary track for episode three, Citizen Brown. Uh, I'm Mike Stemley, designer. Uh, Dennis Sonart was a lead choreographer. Andy Hartzell, designer. Eric Parsons, I directed this episode. JD uh, Straw, I uh, designed and wrote this episode. <laughs> so, oh, you know, we, we have uh, the introduction of of uh, Jen here, Jennifer. <laughs> but a Jen unlike with any you've seen before, sort of. We had talked Jen's about the with the original. The original, the original Jen, Jennifer voice. with better mm -hmm. hair. Oh, that was cool working with Claudia Wells, though, to get her Absolutely. back for this. And the, the Jennifer character is actually a, a hybrid of two, there was originally two characters. There was Jennifer and there was uh, Tiff Tannen, the, the, the punk daughter of Biff, and along the way, as we streamlined things, the two of them got Hello? mishmashed into one character. Yeah, I think Tiff was originally kind of like a broken Cindy Lauper character, and then we kind of dialed her back to Joan Jett with uh, Jennifer here. Jennifer? <laughs> yes, get him a Jennifer. Yeah, Where'd that picture come from? We don't know. <laughs> He's had it all Marty's along. infinite wallet. We <laughs> talked about this last time. Yes. <laughs> we assume that Marty has a wallet that players really just don't want to rifle through. <laughs> that's not a rope. Well, oh, that's not. <laughs> oh, great. Now what? Oops. All new effects for the DeLorean. Yeah. <laughs> We put the DeLorean through some abuse in this episode, didn't we? Yeah, yes. yeah, we did. <laughs> We're about straight. to. Yeah. <laughs> well, your dorkness, my debt to society is paid. As for you, good luck with your car. Way to stick it to Big Brother. Just don't expect golf cart screams alt future to me. To yes. <laughs> I'm not sure when the first well, time golf carts were used in a future. <laughs> screams nightmare future to me, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It screams my eventual future. <laughs> I think Claudia Wells was thrilled to be able to play her character as a uh, as as a punk. I think it's probably a lot closer to the the real personality of Claudia Wells than uh, than the original Jennifer character was. Very true. Yeah, she she got right into that character, and she was super excited to be to be on the project. It was it was great all around. Yep. Did she just get crushed? <laughs> oh yeah, and then we and then the DeLorean <laughs> fell on Jennifer and oh wait. Oh, how poor Marty. Kick the tire. <laughs> So when we started planning this whole season, we told uh, JD that this was this was going to be the fun episode. He got to be the lead designer for the fun episode, and he can he can talk to whether it turned out to be the fun episode or not. <laughs> well, it, it certainly was quite an adventure designing this episode. Uh, I remember back when we were doing like the whole season arc, we had some really crazy ideas for this, including like. Time police and a time police yeah. precinct and, and crazy new Tiff or Biff characters, uh, but yeah, put, putting this together uh, it was really exciting to have to redesign the entire <laughs> the entire downtown as you're going to see here. I mean, apparently in the movies they just put up new plywood and painted it, but <laughs> it's a totally different thing in a video game <laughs> to rebuild this place. I love this town square. I'm so happy with how this came out. Yeah. And basically, we started with the notion of, you know, what would happen if uh, Doc Brown, instead of, you know, doing science uh, sort of in his loosey-goosey kind of way, sort of got guided by Edna and uh, being uh, a happy fascist. And so sort of we wanted to make the super nanny state of the 80s. And so we figured everybody should be wearing polo shirts like all villains in 80s, all villains, you know. We, we wanted it to feel kind of like a prep school too. So, yeah. you know, had some of the uniforms, the Bureau of Discipline instead of police, and, you know, of course, the demerits and everything. We just wanted to feel like if the whole world were suddenly a, a high school for Marty to return to as, you know, that slacker figure. But he gets to step up to the plate here, I think. Another thing uh, to point out, I think the the whole first half of this cutscene, Myas modeled it after the first oh, time yeah. Marty walks um, in. Shot in for shot, it yeah. actually, or no, the, the first, Officer, in 1955 in the first film, yeah. Now what's with the outfit? I, uh... It's Thursday. Yeah? Polo shirt Thursday. 
You're out of uniform. <laughs> That's a violation of civic. So what do they wear on Fridays? Hawaiian shirts. Hawaiian yeah, Hawaiian, shirts. Hawaiian shirt Friday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, there's actually, a line about it. Actually, uh, they, they wear puffy vests, uh, you know, if you just show up on Friday, you wouldn't have gotten any new era. It's, uh, it's Coast Guard Friday. Yeah, it's so. Coast Guard. Yes. Doc's little golf cards. limousine. <laughs> I want, so ritzy. I want one of these. Biff? We also really yeah. liked the idea of a completely neutered... Yeah. More so than the end of the first Wait, movie, but one is just to... like all of his impulses have been bled out of him. <laughs> and if, if you if you were thinking that Biff was a little sort of uh, Alex Delarge ish, a little bit of that Clockwork Orange, yeah, we, we did cram a lot of references into this uh, into this world. We really wanted it to feel like a um, kind of an amalgam of all the dystopian futures that we could think of. And we want the player to just to just long for that asshole Biff to come back out and fly <laughs> once more like a complete yeah. jerk. Yeah. Who thought of the conformist? I did. That's the best. <laughs> I actually found a clever uh, a clever salon name generator online. Uh, <laughs> and I clicked through it for like half an hour. That's <laughs> Thank you, internet. <laughs> you notice the buckets of soy mud back there? I like that little detail. Don't even think about snitching on Kind of the lard of the future. <laughs> Though this is really the 86, so uh, it's not really the future. So I think we spent we spent a while um, um, on, a, on a different track in which Marty is, is, is trying to um, earn merit points uh, in order to get an audience with Citizen Brown. And then all of a sudden we, we realized how much more fun it would be for, for Marty to be earning demerits. And, and to make the puzzles all about uh, uh, bucking the system rather than trying to conform to rules. I don't know why we didn't uh, think of that right off the bat, but once, once we had that, a, a lot of this kind of fell into place. I think we, we'd even tried to take it a little bit further at one point. We were trying to make it just really super difficult to get in trouble. I think that's still retained a little bit here. Mom, knock it off, you two. Now, you here, young and once man. again, if the if the few, if the present's screwed up, that means that uh, know, Marty's parents are screwed up, and you got to fix something. And so we're longing for his mother to become that that alcoholic again that we all <laughs> <know> love. <laughs> we were really flask happy in this episode. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And flasks are a great thing in adventure you games. You should, you know, it's I think we got cleaner. I have like a job each. to do here, you know. <laughs> I just yeah. remember the original concept art of the town square of the courthouse being like 300 stories tall. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was. I would have been okay with it, except we would never have been able to shoot it. See it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'd never see the top two thirds of the building because well, everything wouldn't would fit be in frame kind of from an ant. Oh, I, I tried that. I, I thought about well, if we just shot everything super low. Oh, that's I, I, look, it's okay, mom. Yeah, it's so at least like twice as tall as the, the normal courthouse. I, I like how it's it's sort of eating the old courthouse. Yeah. You can still see the bricks and the windows underneath. <laughs> so this was we. This was the first time we got to have uh, Welcome to Soup Mo, where soup his mother yeah. Oh, yeah. as first a major character. Yeah. And we got cool. AJ Locasio again. Yeah. So AJ versus <laughs> AJ. Was that Jennifer? So Leech was originally, of course, supposed to be um, uh, Flea's character. What, what, uh, 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 needles. 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 Right. And we, and we even had Bob. Bob Gale was like, "This is clearly Needles. Just write him as Needles." And I came down to just uh, uh, we didn't have time to set up someone who could really do a good Flea impression, and we didn't. We were worried if if we let AJ do it, he would sound too much like Marty again. So we just sort of changed the character a little bit. But I think you get the spirit of it. Yeah. So sad. Yeah. Yeah. Alt, alt, tiny. He was supposed to have an eye patch, and I don't know what, what no. happened to that. No, no you fought so hard for the eye patch. The compromise was going to be a milky eye with a scar over it. All oh, right, yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no. we didn't do that for. Him. Why not? Why not a robot? Oh, like, a robot? oh yeah, a robot <laughs> paw. Well, yeah. Yeah. Robot we gave up on the robot paw. <laughs> nice invasion of the body snatchers. Yeah, yeah the way that came together. Please <laughs> help! Back! Down! Sit! Play dead! 
In, in case you haven't figured out, Edna doesn't like dogs. This is gonna pay off on that. Einstein? Oh, if he bites me, you'll be in a world of trouble, citizen. Wait, I know that creature. That's right, he's my dog now. Citizen, you are- oh, that was a weird pet. <laughs> demerit this hooligan at once. I'll return this creature to And if you play a uh, Back to the Future drinking game Wretched. with the word hooligan, <laughs> you can also do uh, look it up. <laughs> yeah, look it up. <laughs> and, uh, and also, uh, what the hell is that? <laughs> you can knock on my door anytime. Hold it. Hold it. <laughs> I, what I really do appreciate in this episode is how we amped up the uh, the double entendres and the sexiness here. Uh, I'm, I'm very pleased with that. Yeah, I'm really glad that we, you know, we, we, we still retain that chemistry between Jen and Marty. That was kind of like a theme we were going for, was to, to just sort of show that, that it's destiny they're going to be together. Oh, here's the guitar battle. Any, any version of Marty and any version of, version of Jennifer are still meant to be together yes which is just kind of a little weird when you consider that there's probably maybe a real a version of marty in this world and he's uh, yeah no, oh, that's yeah. right in the game until <laughs> fairly late in the process wasn't he yeah. yeah that's right yeah uh we had some fun plans for the alternate marty and and the possibility of bumping into him uh, it was like, I think at one point he was undoing your progress. Yes. Like, yeah. You would yes. get demerits and then he would make up for it. Yeah. And then he was going to be taken in to see a Citizen Brown instead of you and you were going to have to do something. Yeah. Chloroform him. Chloroform him. I got a better idea. What was it you called me? A square? A girl's entitled to make a mistake, isn't she? Well, you know, it's a little for, menacing uh, yeah. at first. <laughs> <laughs> for all the uh, the amazing work that AJ Locasio did as Marty, I, I'm going to call him out and say that he had a really hard time doing makeout sounds in the studio. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I think we had to get a stunt makeout person. <laughs> yeah, I think we did. Was he just? Was it like an air makeout or was it like a hand makeout? You sent someone <laughs> in to. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's what we needed. We needed a. It was a, a good comedy show, show though. <laughs> You've gone too far, Jennifer. What's the big deal? It's only hormones. Stop! We don't <laughs> in this town. It's like you're a different guy today. A way cooler guy. I know this is going to be hard to believe. But this I'm was a fun, guy fun guy scene. Uh, I thought it was a good, good character moment, and, and uh, it, it actually came about as a necessity to break up, What's break the up the whole uh, end puzzle maybe. portion. Maybe. Yeah. What's a guy got to do to get in trouble around yeah. here? Uh, I think you're about to find out. You, citizen. It's too bad his alt, one of his alt name choices in this episode couldn't have been Judd I Nelson. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think he was one of the alt. No, Judd Nelson was not one of the choices that we originally had. Along with Harry Callahan and all those guys. We had Bruce Springsteen, and we realized we couldn't use Bruce Springsteen. Joe Montana was on Joe the list. Joe Montana was on the list. Yeah, Joe Montana would have been a great name. Uh, <laughs> We got the uh, the dogs as the statues, statues so that yeah. was kind of like changing history a little bit. Yeah, we were. But we that were persists real... even in the corrected time. No, actually, it doesn't, because you end up. Uh... Come in, citizen. I love this space. Yeah. Yeah. Martin McFly, age eighteen, resident of Sector L. There are some George art design. <laughs> I think Christopher Lloyd really enjoyed. This is when he he got to really start doing some some character acting. He yeah, he really liked this part. To this. Yeah. Explaining the role to him in the studio was really fun. He he's just really excited about it, and and he has this way of just sort of putting up putting up his hand to to let me know I've told him enough. And he's like, <laughs> yeah, <let's laughs> leave the rest to me. <laughs> it's me and you, the other you. It was such a fun. Uh, Variation on the, the Doc Marty relationship you? to, you know, getting glimpses of what we know about the relationship, but in a completely different context. Yeah. And the scene was one it's of my favorites. Impossible. No, it's science. Your science. Doc. Science. <laughs> Other world. What do you say you come from? Am I? Am I? Happy? He's may he may be redeemable. Very happy or not? Got two great sons. Yeah. Yes, and a fantastic wife. 
Not Edna? Not even remotely. Come on. And you're in <laughs> Jeez. You're married to Mary ah, Steenburgen, for God's sake. You're the luckiest guy in the universe. There are no miserable people in my hill valley. Give me a break. You don't really believe. My citizens lead lives of order and peace. Nobody it's a nice little turnaround for his character. Yeah. yeah, Marty just went one Jeez, step too far. Yeah. Yeah. You and Hedna have got him all terrorized. That's Mrs. Brown to you. Oh, nice shot of the uh, American graphic. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we had, we had fun with the art in the background. We worked for over 50 years, my wife and I. Every waking moment devoted to Riddy Hill Valley. So, who did this set? Oh, this is all Dennis. That's. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. I've seen it. They're just Brian Gillies modeled it, though. Yeah. 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 Oh, I, I love the uh, yeah. the clock and the books on the desk. The yeah. How they make a miniature version. Yes. We just wanted that model. We originally had this plan for the same model that he always builds, Doc, that is, inside of his office. That's sort of like he would, he'd be able to track all the citizens of Hill Valley on this little map. Oh, no. Take it easy. Here. And another knocked out here. senior McFly. Whacked me. Eating the peanut brittle. Physical violence in Hill Valley have fallen to virtually ah. We regress. Uh, Can you tell we regress George to back to his earlier <laughs> peeping Tom days and his peanut brittle days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I really like that aspect yeah. where. But it can't be him. George and Lorraine in particular have gone back to not just how we knew them in the first film, but a, an amplified, bad version of it. Yeah, with a, yeah, it's, with, in, in the nanny state, they never really grow up. Whoa, um, settle down there, fella. You beat up my dad. Now let's see if we can get to the bottom of this. Yeah. Let's. I can't hurt anybody. Thanks to citizens. Of course, Biff never really grows up in any reality. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Recording the deaf lines were also a lot of fun, um, especially when they would kind of come out of order and we'd have to switch between, all right, now you're nice, Biff. Okay, now you're mean, Biff. Okay, now you're back. And just <laughs> yeah. um, actually switching back and forth yeah. line to line uh, was a little weird, but. Okay, uh, that's weird. <laughs> but Kid Beyond Get is, my dad's tape. I think he totally uh, did a great job at at doing that character and, hey, Mr. and both variations of it in this episode. Is that McFly? some fun physical this comedy here. This is a preview here. of uh, our you Walking Dead game. <laughs> <laughs> Biff wants brains. <laughs> this just always reminds me of uh, oh. Willy Wonka. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Holy smokes. W w what happened to him? I don't know. Well, here goes nothing. He was a bad egg. Gosh, <laughs> man, did I do something wrong? So this is a fun space. It's, it's, it, it calls back to the, uh, of course, the speakeasy, but then also, if you kind of notice, it's set up very similar to Edna's original apartment. Instead of a, instead of a bay window to look out, she's got all those monitors to look at. Down here, and you're yelling at me, McFly. <laughs> There was a banana <laughs> canister there in case anybody yeah. thought I saw that. <laughs> Strictly. <laughs> oh, hi, Martin. <laughs> Give me He's the getting the extra high, Marty. <laughs> this is a fun room to populate. I wish we could have put more cool 80s things to ban, fun 80s <laughs> things to ban into this room, but it, it has some clever stuff if you really look around, even some callbacks to the movies. <laughs> Biff. Those are your favorite cigars? Cubans. So oh. yes, you've got to get Biff Cannon. to look at Listen to me. cigars, booze, and porn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> well, she looks pleased with that. <laughs> Hit him again. That'll work. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy? <laughs> Tannin! Get up, you useless slacker! Come on, Edna, give the poor jerk a break. <laughs> she was supposed to Don't kick him at some point. <laughs> <laughs> I think we just couldn't work out the staging of yeah. <laughs> getting her to come in that much distance. Distractible as my husband's. No. No! Edna! Doc? 
busted. Dennis, yeah. What are you doing here? I came down here to investigate a troubling report involving Mr. Tan. Doc, you gotta stop her. She. Silence! Okay. And now Marty will go away for the rest of. Then <laughs> quietly off to the side. When I found my wife perverting my life's work. Is this what it's all been about, Edna? All those years? All our struggles to cure society? The, the first time I read the script, this scene and. or this. this cutscene in particular and the whole scene in Citizen Brown's office were the two that. You just wanted totally this just as much as I did. Okay, yes. Remember? If and, uh, only we could tell someone to stay Lloyd off the grass and the, uh, still help us, they the would never tread foot on a well-managed yeah. farm again. Yeah, yeah. That's what Citizen Plus does. He's been through does. it. He's been through it. Wow. Even the slightest of changes. Enough. We will not have this discussion here. But Go home and wait for me. How Fine. Doc Brown got his groove back. <laughs> <laughs> the bold yellow font of girly, girly mag. mag. I know, I keep noticing <laughs> that too. <laughs> if we could just go back and fix one thing. <laughs> what? Whoa. We resisted the con? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the first time I've ever Marty, told game. Marty had the Wrath of Con oh, he did. shot yeah. at the beginning yeah. of the game, so <laughs> we only get one of those twice. for episodes. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of empty pages. The only one you need is right here. And this was this was a neat uh, thing where we Eric was calling out all the uh, instances of, of the flux capacitor symbol. We had a fun time designing the logo yeah. for it. Yeah for the city too. It's, it's a, what I like about it is it's like, at first it, it was clearly a, a victory pose with the arms outstretched, but as I looked at it and looked at it and was writing the script, it, it started to turn into someone shackled up in a gulag. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this all kind of spun out of something that, you know, very early in the process, we noticed something, we noticed that the park in Hill Valley was a flux right. capacitor symbol and it had been there all along. <laughs> and <laughs> makes no sense that it is, but that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, just some production designer back in the first film. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it really set the bar. Now we had to be that clever. We've got a time machine to fix. And it does also, it's the, the Back to the Future eternal theme that nobody really changes. Everybody is, is uh, they either realize their true selves or they don't, but they're, uh, they've always got it inside them. Yeah, and it's the notion that uh, to some, at some level, the idea for the flux capacitor is still in his head. Uh, just kind of gurgling in subconscious, waiting for the right moment. Because all I remember is a punk kid who thought it'd be funny to make me jump down a... Remember when this scene had lawn darts? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, what, the lawn darts were cut? Yeah, we cut the lawn darts. Oh. Yes, I do remember Place the lawn bets. darts. What the... Hey, it's almost like we planned that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here, Andy. Einstein's like, yep, he's dead. <laughs> 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 <Can I hit him? laughs> Because I'm the evil twin Einstein. I eat people, you know. Stop. Sorry I took so long. Biff came around and jumped me. I so the happy ending. Yeah. 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 Again, everything's yeah. fine. Whoa, wait, what? Oh, oh man. Oh, man. Oh, man. You never trust a, a high-backed chair <laughs> turned away yeah. from you. Ruined in just a few short hours. Where's Doc? Uh, Doc. My husband is in a better place. Is this dead? <laughs> oh, Not, no. Oops. oh, oh no! Right. <laughs> We've got everything yeah. under faceless guards. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! What's gonna happen? She's gonna lick the screen. <laughs> <laughs> That's creepy. Uh, well, and now stay tuned for uh, episode four. Commentary. Commentary. <laughs> Thanks for playing. Uh, uh, Back, Back to the, the future. future. Yeah. <laughs>